what does number 3 signify in Purcell's diagram shown below. Number 3 is here and we have a cross sectional diagram of mandibular movement. Okay, maximum opening position, maximum protrusive, functional range and superior contact position. Most of us get confused in mandibular movements. So let me revise this very briefly with you. Now what are these movements and why, why is there a need to get confused? So because these are movements in different planes, we tend to mix up a little sometimes. So the easiest way to remember is to remember these three diagrams. First is a shield shape, second is a beak shape and third is a rhombus. Shield shape is seen in the frontal view as you can see. Okay, this is a shield seen in the frontal view. Now do this with me as I tell you. Close your teeth in maximum intercuspation. So currently the teeth are in maximum intercuspation and this point here corresponds to that. That means your teeth are completely in occlusion. Now take your jaw to the right side. Okay, so this is towards the right. Can you see how you go right side? From there you open your mouth. So this is the opening to the maximum opening, maximum mouth opening. Now at this point, this is in the same line. Repeat the same on the left side. Take from maximum intercuspation to left side as much as you can take laterally and open your mouth and come straight forward. So again, that will come back to maximum mouth opening. Okay, so this gives you movements in the frontal plane. When you visualize it from frontal aspect like this, remember the skull and the shield okay second is the beak now in a sagittal plane that means you cut the section along the midline and see it from the sagittal section so here the sagittal section looks like this as shown in the skull image now put your teeth in maximum intercuspation this is your maximum intercuspation from this position if you try to go a little retruded you will be able to glide a little posteriorly can you feel that? That is the most retruded position that your mandible can go to. That is actually the centric relation of your mandible. But because of teeth, we are not having our centric relation coinciding with centric occlusion. Okay. In maximum intercuspation, our teeth are currently maximum intercuspation. So from MIP, now as you go ahead, there will be some amount of incisal overlap. So your lower anteriors will glide over your upper anteriors in this path and then when you protrude it is going to come forward like this so there will be a path where you will go down go down go down and come edge to edge on your teeth and then when you take your teeth forward this is the path that is followed so from here this is how it is followed okay then you open your mouth wide protrude as much as you can and then open your mouth wide so this is the opening or the protrusion pro trajectory that means while opening this is the kind of jaw movement that will happen clear the jaw will move open like this and then when you try to close it it will close in two ways first will be like this and the second is an arrow like this so here you have translatory motion of the mandible and here you have the rotational motion of the mandible so for the first 15 to 20 millimeters there will be rotational motion up over above that up to 35 millimeters to 40 millimeters the mandible will translate that means bodily move so this occurs in two parts coming to the third view which is rhomboidal in cross section from the horizontal uh, uh, plane so when you view something occlusally if this is your maximum intercuspal position then this is maximum intercuspal when you move right the jaw will move towards right then when you protrude with the right it will come like this so this is the protrusion okay you go right and then protrude similarly go left and then protrude so it becomes a rhombus this is in the occlusal view i hope this is very clear just go through the image of the movement and the plane to correlate then it becomes very easy now the question here is what is three now like i told you this is from the sagittal position in the sagittal cross section okay possels diagram this is in the sagittal cross section now what is this it is maximum intercuspation 
this is the most most retruded position this is maximum intercuspation this is how your anteriors will glide over your upper lower and upper anteriors glide over each other and come to protrusion maximum protrusion then this is the mouth opening then while closing there is translatory motion and then there is rotational motion now the options do not say any of these words that we have seen so far because the author is different this is, these options are according to okesen which is a very standard book on mandibular movements tmj and occlusion okay so maximum opening pro positioning does it correlate to maximum opening positioning number 1 2 3 and 4 of this number 1 is posterior opening border that means posterior most how much opening we can do without rotation okay two is maximum protrusion how much you can protrude this is the most protruded position four is the functional range that means your chewing stroke is going to lie only this much when you bite till the time you chew you are only going to move your mandible this much you don't open your mandible so much while you are functioning And the last is superior contact position also known as maximum inter intercuspal position or mic so here is the diagram for that border and functional movements in the sagittal plane first is the posterior opening border two is the anterior opening border three is the superior border and four is the functional contact or the functional movement chewing stroke together they are going to give you the envelope of motion so now what all to remember from this remember the concept okay the words may be interchanged if you remember the concept clearly the mandible uh, the mandibular movements clearly then you can answer these questions very easily these are easy scoring questions because it is concept based not something that you need to learn so remember the diagram of the skull and the corresponding envelope